All right, I'm going to quickly try to show you how to do some logic branching or, uh, in other words, how to get specific questions to users of a Google form based on what they answer on a previous question. So you can see I've set up a Google form here, and I'm not going to go through all of the steps to do that. But I've got a Google form going here, and I have multiple sections. So in section one, I have one question here which is, uh, which topic would you like to answer another question about? So I've got Washington Pairs, 80s professional wrestling, or Star Wars, okay? Uh, in this question, you can see a couple of things. One, it's a multiple choice question. And then because I've got multiple choice question, I'm allowed to have users go to a different section of my Google form based on their answers. So if they choose Washington pairs, I'm sending them down to section three, which is my Washington pairs section. If they answer 80s professional wrestling, I've said go to section two, Star Wars, go to section four, Star Wars. So if I scroll down uh, my Google form here, you can see here's section two, which is my pro wrestling question. So if they say 80s pro wrestling, they go to section two. They will not get this question, Washington pairs, because you can see here beneath this section, which is section two, I say, go to section five. So you can see after section two, go to section five. Don't, because one of my options is continue to the next section, but I don't want the user to do that. I've got three different questions and based on these answers, you'll get one question of the topic you choose. That's the way I've set it up. So you can see I've got section two here, it says go to uh, a bunch of other questions. I have, I have a section five, which is lots of other questions. So they wouldn't get this Washington pairs question. And unless you'd chosen Washington pairs on the first question, then you'd go to this section um, and then go to section five, right? So again, if you answered Star Wars originally, you'd get this question. And then at the bottom of that, I say, no matter what you answer here, go to section five. And then I have more questions down here in section five. Okay. And then, and then everybody would get all of these. Now let's go ahead and take a look at that, what that looks like if I just preview it. So I'm going to click my preview button here in Google Forms. So here's what my Google Form looks like if I was actually a user trying to take the form. You see, I only get this first question. I don't see all the other questions because until I answer this, I don't know what, or e the Google Form doesn't even know what question to give me next. So let's say I want to answer the Washington pairs question, right? So I'm not going to see this question or this question. It's going to take me directly to my Washington pairs question. Okay, now I got to answer this. Da -da. Which one is this? Oh, that's this one. Okay. Again, I don't have any other questions. I click next. Now I get that. Uh, I'm in that last section. I called it section five, more questions. I got a bunch of questions here and, and I'm going to get all of them. So they're showing me all at once. And that's basically how it works. Okay, so let me try to set this up really quickly. Here I am with a brand new form. And like I said, to do branching, you need to have a multiple choice question. So I would have, you know, A, uh, B, and C, okay? And then I need different sections to go to. Here's my section button. So I'm gonna add a section. And essentially this is like, go here if a okay so if they answer a i'm going to send them to this question now you would never type this but i'm just showing you here's another section okay and then this is if b right so if they answer b they're going there uh of course there's no question in here yet so i need to be selecting section two and i could add a question and then i would you know whatever my question is and some answers okay uh and then i would need to put a question down in section three as well, right? But I'm just showing you for demonstration purposes here. And I've gone ahead and finished that out. So I've got a if B section and if C section. Okay, so now I go to the little caterpillar here, the three little dots, and I can say go to section based on answer. And by doing that, I can say if, if they answer A, I want them to go to uh, section two and answer that question. But if they answer B, I want them to go to section three, and if they answer C, I want them to go to section four. And then right here, I can say continue to next section, right? Because it's going to be based on this. 
But then for these ones, I need to tell it to go to, well, I need one more section here to send it, right? Because I don't want them to, so let's go down here. And if I'm here, I can add a section and I can say, um, these questions are for everyone, right? So now I've got a, a new section down here. I can add more questions down here. But now back up here, so I've set this up based on the letters. And then after you answer this question, you don't go to the next section, you go to these questions are for everyone section. And I would say that for the people who got this question as well, and the people who ended up getting that question as well, everyone's gonna do my questions down here, but you're only gonna get these questions if you answered this first question with the letter B. All right, folks, that's how you do it.